Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm Christy Forsythe with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy. And I help the helpers, the healers, and the light bringers of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit the subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on the channel. We are going to dive into your month of September, 2021 in and around September, 2021. So so um, over the next month or so, I realize I'm getting this out a little bit late. So I, I also am setting the intention that we're taking a peek at early October for you guys as well. Uh, we're going to we're going to take a look and we're going to see what that month is going to look like, what messages the angels have for you and how you can best navigate this month. As I look at your overall spread, I see that there's kind of you're in this position of maybe feeling or starting to feel this push to take actions on action on things. But at the same time, you're moving a little bit more slowly. You are maybe even feeling that pre shadow of the Mercury retrograde in which we tend to move a little bit slower. Um, I know, so I'm a Pisces rising and I know I feel this a little bit. And what that looks like for me is that I'm maybe just not getting to all of the things that I would like to be doing, or I'm not putting my energy into things in the way that a lot of times, like when I'm feeling really energized, I would. So we're, there, there are a lot of messages around that and around, um, in some ways, pushing yourself to take some of the actions that intuitively you're feeling called to take. But we're gonna dive in and we will see what the messages have for you. So overall, before we dive in to the different themes that we have for the month, we're gonna take a look at the overarching themes. Uh, the first one is the flow card, okay? So maybe you've been learning and working on maybe flowing a little bit more, moving into more of that flow energy. I definitely see you working with the energy this month and, and trying to flow with it, trying to let it be your guide, trying to let it guide your actions. But this is also about paying attention to those inspired actions, okay? So I do feel like there's a message here of you may be feeling inspired to take certain actions, but whether it's you just don't feel like you have the energy, whether it's you are feeling scared because I, I think for a lot of you it's a it, it's a fear thing there's something holding you back from taking action and this is really saying take action when you feel that that sense that you need to take action on something or when you feel like you are getting uh divine assignments okay uh this is also we also have the forward card which for me is just really continuing to support that message of things moving forward, you choosing to move forward, you choosing to step into something. I do feel like there's maybe something or some things that you've been maybe hesitating to completely put yourself into or to step into or get started on. And this is really saying go for it because I think that there's a lot of success here with this. If you can push yourself a little bit, if you can get your engine going a little bit and moving and stepping into things. And part of this is also about intentions, right? Putting those intentions out there with the universe. This is what I want. This is how I want this to go because you know, as long as that aligns with what the divine wants for us, that is like putting our order in with the universe and it can help us to be that much more successful and it helps us to become or to uh, embrace the powerful co-creator that we are. And it allows us to work with the energy and guide the energy and make that what we want with that as well. So let's dive in. I broke this into four overall categories. So these are four big things that you might expect or four overall themes that you might expect throughout the month. So the first card that we have here is the four of swords in reverse. Okay. So you have been in a period of pulling your energy back a bit, taking time to reflect, to listen. And I feel like that time is in some ways coming to an end. Now we are at the end of the month going into Mercury retrograde, which is, I mean, this card really captures that where we, you know, we tend to 
take our time and move a little bit more slowly and have lower energy and rest more and take that time to listen to our intuition. So it's not that you're fully going to be stepping out of this, but this is just really saying where are you maybe avoiding something that you know that you need to be doing, that you know, know you need to be addressing, okay? Um, there's, there's a situation that that just with the six of wands in reverse has not felt victorious to you, has not felt successful. And I see you kind of spending a lot of time in your head about that and saying, well, why didn't this work out? Why didn't this go the way that I wanted it to go? Um, this may have been, we because we do have this queen of water in reverse, queen of cups in reverse is the same, um, and this five of air upright. So this may have been connected to a connection of some kind. Maybe there, just something that didn't go well. And I feel like what you're finding yourself, maybe to the point of obsession, overthinking kind of energy, you're thinking about a mistake that you made in regard to a relationship or a perceived mistake that you made in regard to a connection of some kind or um or, or even maybe a choice that you made in regard to a relationship there's something there with that right because the five of air is like about feeling like you made an unwise choice this is also though about taking a look at everybody's motives in the situation, right? So there may be something that you need to take a look at in terms of like, maybe you made the decision that you made because there were certain things that you were intuitively feeling or you didn't feel like somebody had your uh, best interest at heart. There's something here, but I see that um, you're focusing a lot on that. And this is really saying to, to learn the lessons that you can from this experience and to try not to overthink that too much, to try not to spend too much time in that energy because it, the important piece is to tease out the lessons, right? And to not spend too much time in that. And I do feel like potentially there may be some frustration. There may be a lot of emotions. We do have this queen of cups in reverse, right? You may find it to be really difficult and really emotional and this is, is really saying it, it's better served with a focus on forgiveness, okay? Forgiveness heals, it says. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and your happiness. So this may be even something from the past. You know, we are in that pre-retrograde, Mercury retrograde shadow. Something from the past being stirred up. And it's being stirred up. You're thinking about this because there is an opportunity for healing here. And this is really showing us that that opportunity comes through forgiveness and through working on that. Now, forgiveness is a process, right? And it's not something that we can just like snap our fingers and make happen, but it's a choice and it's honoring. I'm choosing to move in the direction of forgiveness. And I always like to talk about forgiveness in, in the terms of like when you choose to forgive, it's not really about letting that other person off the hook. It's really about letting yourself off the hook. It's about releasing yourself from an energy that you have been attached to for a long time. And when you release that, you know, that person has always will have karma to deal with around the choices that they have made that have been harmful to other people. That's just the way the energy works, right? But the more that you keep yourself tied to this, you're keeping yourself tied to this. And so that can hold you back in so many ways. So I see some kind of a healing happening. And what comes in with that is this queen of wands energy. It's confidence. It's connecting to your power, maybe connecting to a power that you haven't felt connected to in quite some time. And this is also about creativity, right? So you might find that when you can work on releasing this energy and stepping out of your head a little bit and, and just stepping back into your life, focusing on moving forward with your life, I think that a lot of beautiful creative divinely inspired ideas will come through. This is, these are those times when those ideas come through that allow us to understand 
what's next for us? What is um, the direction that we need to be moving next? What is next on our path? So pay attention to that. Now, the next set of cards that we have here is um, all around this page of wands in reverse card. So this is, again, there's something you're not taking action on. Maybe you felt inspired to do something, try something, start something. And I, I feel like this is kind of in your head or, or kind of in the background, just sort of always there, but it's been ignored. It's been pushed to the side. It's, you know, maybe you've been too busy or maybe um, you just haven't felt like you've had the energy, but this is really saying it's time to step into this. And again, I feel like part of what holds you back is fear, right? Because we have this own your divine power card as well. And it says, replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment, okay? So this maybe there is some energy of connections here and connections impacting you um, and stepping into your power after maybe some challenging connections. This is about understanding what you deserve and understanding how powerful you really are. This is very, very similar to that Queen of Wands energy. Um, and, and this is about not allowing things that have happened or even feeling kind of off or thrown off from something that has happened from allowing you to step into the rest of your life and allowing you from living your life in a way that is exciting and allows you to be connected to your power and allows you to be creative. So it's time to take action on those things and to really do your best to set aside those fears that maybe are telling you that you can't or telling you that you don't deserve it or telling you that you don't have the energy to do that because it honestly, and don't shoot the messenger here, right? But it, it feels a little bit like excuses. Like I, as I'm reading these messages, I'm even thinking about myself with that, that Pisces ascendant within me. And I'm thinking, okay, like there are ways that I maybe haven't been pushing myself in the way that, that I know that I'm capable of. I haven't been living up to my potential the past week or so, you know? So um, where have you not been living up to your potential? The uh, next cards that we have here, I mean, Ace of Wands, time to take action. This is my go for it card. So something, there's something you've wanted to go for. I, you know, the thing that you're you're feeling called to do, the thing that you're wanting to do, I, like I also feel like you're really excited about it, right? It's just like fear that holds you back or fear of failure or, um, you know, like just that, that self-doubt or whatever this is. But this is saying go for it. It's going to be really, really successful. The, the Ace of Wands is a very, very successful card. So this might be something that you're working on. This might be, you know, a new job that you're wanting to apply for or to step into. This might be just an action you've been feeling called to take. So definitely go for it because when you go for it, we have this Wheel of Fortune card. Wheel of Fortune is about literally like this wheel turns in your favor and all of a sudden luck is on your side. And so I feel like in some ways, maybe you have felt like luck hasn't been on your side or uh, that that things haven't been as successful as you would like them to be. And this is saying, choose yourself, choose to push yourself, choose to step into your power, choose to go after or go for this thing or this even a connection. I feel like for some of you, this is about a fear of a connection that's that's really powerful, but you've been, you know, maybe you're overwhelmed by how powerful that connection is and you've been kind of shut down with that. And this is saying, go for it. This is saying, once you step into it, things are gonna be amazing. Think, you know, your your luck changes, but you've gotta bet on yourself first. This is, this is betting on yourself, right? And you also, with this Queen of Air, have to let go of whatever needs to go. You know, the Queen of Air clears things out and she's very clear on what needs to no longer exist within her life. Whether it's energies, whether it's, it's people, whether it's um, a job, whether it's you know, experiences or different things, like patterns that she's just like, nope, 
that no longer belongs here in my life. That's no longer who I am or what I want for my life. And she sees it really clearly and she's able to clear things out with complete clarity. There also is, um, you know, like she's able to communicate really clearly what it is that she wants and what it is that she needs. And, um, so you may find yourself feeling called to reach out to someone or to express something to someone. And this is really that message to go for it, you know, um, because if it's something that you're feeling called to do, it's going to be important for you to move forward with that. I think with that queen of air energy, you'll be very clear on whether or not you should or should not do that. Um, let's see. So let me pull these cards over here. So then we have the judgment card. Okay. So that queen of air is bringing a lot of clarity and, and through that there is a shift coming in for you. I see you getting really clear on making decision for yourself in some way. There's some kind of a decision that maybe you've been sitting on for a little while. You've been thinking like, do I want this? Do I want this? Um, is this, is this the direction that I want to go in? Again, there's a very strong go for it energy. Okay. So if it's something that you're excited about, but you've been just holding back because of fear, this is, this is saying go for it. But I think that you will get very clear and you will make some kind of a judgment call in your life. Um, the circumstances that are showing up for you may be shaping that. So pay attention to what's happening. And even if it feels difficult or challenging, what is it showing you? What is it trying to help you to understand in your life? Because there is something, it's funny, I pulled the four of cups twice with this, right? So four of water, four of cups, same card. This is about missed opportunities. Sometimes it's about missed opportunities in love. Sometimes it's about, you know, there's, there's a person that you have been or are connected to that's, um, maybe you haven't ever considered having a connection with them or you have kind of written that off as a possibility. And this is saying, this is, this is something really beautiful that's being divinely guided back into your life. So notice it, pay attention to it. Don't, don't write that off completely unless that doesn't feel right at all to you, right? Of course, honor your intuition, but there is some kind of a missed opportunity. This is, I always say like with this card, this is like God is offering an opportunity here with this cup, but she's so focused on these other cups that are already there in front of her that she misses out on it. She doesn't see it, right? So uh, some kind of a missed opportunity or maybe being so focused or so in your head or so feeling so down and depressed that you're not noticing the gifts that the universe are trying to bring into. So it doesn't have to be a relationship, right? Um, for a lot of you, it won't be. It'll just be something that wants to come into your experience that maybe you're missing because you are feeling down about things or you're, you're having a lot of negative thinking or you're not you're, you're maybe doing a lot of avoidance kind of behaviors. There's a lot of energy of avoidance behaviors or self-sabotaging behaviors if you allow it this month. And this is really saying, be mindful of that. Be mindful of how you're using your time and your energy, okay? Uh, we have the 10 of swords. There is something that you're just fed up with, okay? Um, you can see that there's something that has has really brought you into this place where it, it, maybe an ending has occurred or you just have decided, you know what, I'm no longer willing to participate in this anymore. You know, this hasn't brought me to a very positive place. You can see, you can get a sense of this card, like the vibe is not fantastic, right? But it is, I always see this as like the sun is setting and then a new day is dawning after that. That's what comes next. And so I do feel like with that queen of swords we had earlier, there's something that you've cleared. And this is just saying, recognize like th that that's done and that, that that needs to go. And it's time to recognize the gifts that are coming in for you. And maybe some things that are right in front of you that for whatever reason you've, you have been ignoring your intuition on. And, and when we just take that time to kind of pause 
and listen, I feel like our intuition will show us and will tell us and will help us. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, take some time for yourself and just listen. You know, some of this also is about you're recognizing here with this wellness card, there are some things that have maybe been allowed in your routine and your life and your connections and whatever that have not positively contributed to your physical well-being, your emotional well-being, your mental well-being, your energetic well-being, and you are deciding maybe and maybe that's part of this judgment call, right? You are deciding that you're going to start to do things that are best for you. And of course, you know, Pisces, you're so loving and so just like I, I love Pisces energy. It is it's so beautiful. And so so sometimes um you can get lost in the shuffle a little bit. Your needs can get lost in the shuffle a little bit because you're wanting to show up for other people so much that your cup is 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 being drained. You are completely being drained and this is really saying what is draining you in your life and and what needs to change and how do you need to make you a priority in your life? You know, it might not be the priority, right? Um, we have other things that we have to do, but a priority, how do we add you to that list of people that you are taking excellent care of? Because this is going to be really, really key. And I see when you make that shift, it, wherever you've been feeling off in your overall wellness or well-being is going to start to come back into balance. So maybe you've even had that question, like, what's it going to take for this physical issue to go away? Or what's it going to take for me to feel mentally stronger or whatever this is? Okay. So the answer to that is in allowing yourself to prioritize yourself. And, and to honor yourself and to add yourself to that list. And I think that that'll create a really important shift for you. Okay, so the last set of cards that we have here are is the King of Wands, okay? Interesting, so we have the King of Wands reverse. We have the King of Water upright. There's something about, yes, you're taking action this month. Yes, you're going for it, right? There is very much a strong message about it. But the things that you are choosing to go for to go after, this is really saying you need to follow your heart, right? Um, follow your intuition, follow your heart. To me, those are, are very, very tied, right? Follow your heart. And so maybe you've been trying to handle something with your brain and from a logical perspective, but your heart just keeps tugging you in another direction. This is saying follow your heart. This is saying the actions that you take should be in that direction. It should be following that path of your intuition. And sometimes the intuitive path, a lot of times, the intuitive path is not the logical path. And But your soul knows the way. So what is your soul trying to show you? What is your heart trying to show you? Follow your heart. Have an open heart. Let that lead you. Let yourself follow this natural flow of things. Again, there's that flow word, right? What is, what's like just naturally flowing for you or what do you, what feels the most natural for you to flow with? Even if again, that goes against your brain, you're built to flow Pisces. So let yourself flow, let yourself, let your heart lead you where it is that you need to go. And I think if you can do that, you're, you're not gonna lead yourself wrong. We have this eight of swords. This is about feeling trapped, feeling stuck, feeling like you can't see or understand something. And she's led out of this circumstance. You know, if she could just see, she would understand that she's not really trapped here. You know, she can just step forward and she releases herself. And I feel like in a lot of ways, it's her intuition, it's her heart that can guide her out of here. And all she has to do is trust and step forward. So there's something that you intuitively feel like you need to go for, that you need to lean into, that you need to step toward. And this is saying, go for it, step into that, but just step 
forward. We had that forward card earlier, okay? Um, we also have the Knight of Pentacles. So I do see you moving forward. Knight of Pentacles is a slower moving energy, okay? But I do see you moving forward and taking action. So you're dealing with a little bit of a slower energy here, but you're also feeling called to take action on something. So this to me is about really finding that perfect balance of yes, moving in that direction, yes, stepping forward, yes, following your heart and, and moving in the direction of that. But you may also find that it's moving a little bit more slowly than it, it typically would. But this is about every single day taking a step in that direction, right? Because eventually you're going to get where you're going. So try not to be too overwhelmed if whatever this is feels very far away or feels like a big thing to accomplish. Little steps every single day are going to get you there. I also do feel like with this Knight of Pentacles that there is some kind of an offer that either you are wanting to put out there you know this may be connected to that follow your heart maybe in your heart there's some kind of an offer that you're wanting to put out to someone or something you know maybe even a gift but an offer a gift um just something that you're wanting and feeling compelled to do and this is also saying go for it this is saying go after that but you may also find yourself receiving some kind of an offer that's coming in and again knight of pentacles slower moving energy so this might not be something that like bam it's right there you know um it may be something that starts with a little bit of communication and slowly some kind of an offer comes in for success, an offer for money, an offer for um, a solid, stable connection, whatever this is that is coming into your experience, but this is definitely a beautiful energy that's coming in. It just is going to move a little bit more slowly, but I think your energy is also moving slowly. So I think that's okay. I think that it's perfectly aligned. And the last card that we have here is divine intervention. I feel like there's something you've been waiting on, something, um, that maybe you've asked for miracles on and this is really saying that god is sending miracles your way the the divine the universe whatever you want to call that is sending miracles is answering your prayers is showing up for you so watch for the signs and the synchronicities and trust and know that beautiful things are heading in your direction. So those are your messages for today. If this resonates with you, make sure you like this video. I always love to hear from you in comments below. If you wanna learn about my membership site where I'm doing readings, where I am offering classes and energy sessions and all kinds of good stuff for only $9.99 a month, you can check it out at claritybychristy.com. And if you wanna learn more about my, me or the services that I offer, you can check me out at discoveryourawakening.com. I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care, guys.